So this is War 10 of Season 37, and uh, HCX is facing Salty again. So we know this is going to be a really hard war and that we have to play pretty much perfect. And Salty is a very, very good alliance. So I'm going to bring Hercules, Colossus, and Overseer, which is, uh, you know, a fun different team. So Hercules for this thing here. Um, I've taken this fight many, many times. It always goes very smoothly. So naturally, in the war when I want it to go the smoothest, uh, a little bit goes awry. It, it's not that bad, but definitely not what I wanted. So yeah, so I hit him. Probably want to get an intercept here, so a 5 hit combo and a special 1. You've probably seen me do this already. Um, but yeah, there we go. Bait out the heavy. And it's going perfect. Now, uh... Tap him four times, then a five combo and a special one, probably. If he wants to throw that special, he can. <laughs> yeah. So now I tap him five times into a special one, and this will actually get rid of the protection. Perfect. He throws that, and it's going great. Now I do a four hit combo into a two hit combo, and I want to do a five hit combo to special one, but he hits me. So instead I do a five hit combo into special one, but it pushes me to L2. So yeah. It does end up killing him, um, but yeah, did not play that well at all, um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, next we have a Magneto on Node 11, and I am going to be using my favorite war strategy, which is use Hercules and hit hard. So, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to either intercept or parry heavy at the start. I think it's going to be intercept because I want to make sure that I can parry heavy and special one in the same protection window so that I can have conduit be shrugged off both times, you know, in, in one. Um, so yeah, there's the conduit debuffs. Anything I do doesn't really matter here. Honestly, could have heavied for another charge if I really wanted to, so now I can just back off. All right, so now it's just time to nuke. Well, nuke is a strong word. It's time to hit. Uh, yeah, and at this point, I'm saying this damage is pretty weak, which I knew was going to be the case. Um, so probably should either knock him down and wait out the protection, or uh, throw a special 2 into protection. So, here we go, I infuriate him, get that special out of him, throw this special 2, which actually still hits reasonably hard. And yeah, there it is. So just tapping him. I think I'm trying to push him to L2 in the conduit debuff. Oh, oh, I decided to, to re-up my, uh, that's what it was. I decided that I was just going to get my crit and then do my normal basic hits. So I got my uh, crit up before the protector came back. And you'll also notice the last hit actually because of assassin hit normally, which is always fun. And yeah, so that's Magneto down. Um, my next fight is, is this is it a Hyperion? Yes. So I've taken Hyperion on node 25 before with an invulnerability boost and it went beautifully. Like I literally just didn't get touched because he was so aggressive. And it does not go that way this time. I do put on an invul just in case, and it really does come in handy. Um, I played this one like I wasn't taking any chances because usually I take I take some not not chances, but like I'm willing to play uh, go for stuff like baiting out specials. Here I don't even care about specials. I really don't. Here's your special three. Throw it at me. And so he throws this. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm literally indestructible. It gives me a charge. I don't care. Wait, does it give me a charge? Is it, sometimes it's not class as a knockdown. It should give me a charge. It does, okay. Because they've changed how special threes are classed, so I was kind of wondering. So here, I'd love to bait out a special, but if he doesn't want to throw it, I'm not going to trigger Power Snack trying to. This doesn't really make any sense. So here, I'll just do that. Push him over to that L3. Take this with my indestructible. I have one more charge. And this is where I get to hit really hard because, you know, there's no conduit at this point. And I have my crit buff up, so I hit him. He throws that special one pretty much unprompted. Hit him again. And here I can just trigger Infuriate right now to bait it out, but it doesn't really matter because he's dead. So yeah, Hercules just hits really, really hard and just generally gets around a lot of stuff. Here I have a Havoc. Um, and I still have the same indestructible boost on. I did a lot of dual testing because the armor up does stop, um, you know, when it, the plasmas hit 11 at detonating, but I wasn't sure if it would stop the, the purify because the special three is, it gives him purify level damage and I'm pretty sure it's classes of purify. So I wasn't sure 
But I did testing and I found out that it did indeed, so now I know that I can push to L3 with absolutely no repercussions whatsoever. Um, I also have a mutant power back boost on, so that should help as well. Pro tip, if you only need one power back boost and you're trying to double up on a gray boost, like on Hyperion and Havoc here, apply it before the fights. So I applied it before any of my fights so that I wouldn't have to apply it later and I could maximize that gray boost. And it gives you a little bit more of a uh, margin for error there. So I re-parry, he nicely throws a wide attack, which means I can heavy, special two. This is the fun Colossus that I've been missing. Just go for another special two here. He throws that special two, which is fine. I didn't need him to, but you know, it's obviously nice. Get that re-parry. Get another re-parry, but there is combo, so an L2 should finish it. This fight is very much well in hand, so if I lose this, it would make me very sad. So I throw a special two, and that's Havoc down. Now, and this is a fun fight, I have Man-Thing on node 36, and I'm using Overseer. My Overseer was unawakened until this war, in which I saw that I needed him, and I awakened him and threw 100 Science 6 stones into him. I was already considering awakening him for Battlegrounds, then like, you know, war attack and defense and all that random stuff, but, um... Yeah, uh, we needed him in war, and I wanted to do it, so yeah. You can see how fast I'm ramping up, or how fast I'm ramping up. My goal was to throw a special one with, uh, to push him to L2, but it just straight up triggered Cosmic Mode. Um, I really should have gone to L2, but realistically it doesn't really matter. Um, I just, I underestimated how fast I could ramp up. Um, so that, that's why I did that. It's not the right strategy. Don't go into your fights with that strategy. It's not, you know, necessarily the right one. Not that it's bad, per se. Um, so yeah, just gonna push him to L2s just because it's easier to punish and all that fun stuff. Does that. And yeah, an L2 should just fully nuke him. Um, so yeah, I push him to L2, then I'm just gonna tap him once and throw mine and see what happens. Okay. Tap him once, throw mine. Probably tur Do I turtle up here? Nope, just hit a parry. There we go. Beautiful. And I can just special one here and drop some light attacks into his face. And yeah, Overseer is an absolute monster. And yeah, I'll probably have some battleground stuff with him too, if not war. Um, and my next fight is going to be a King Groot. I took this at like... Okay, so it looks like it was 2.30 in the morning. Um, but... I had just been cleared, and I w did not know if I could do it in the morning, so I was like, or the actual morning, <laughs> so I was like, I'll just take it now. I've taken this fight before, it's easy. Um, you'll see that I'm playing like a moron, I would like to think that's because I'm tired, but it also pro- yeah. It's also probably just because I'm bad, as I was saying. So yeah, almost got to the L2 there, which would have been tragic. We go, we get the heavy counter for the charge, knock him down, there's no conduit. Then we throw the special one, because he already is conduited, so it only adds like an extra second of regen, it really doesn't matter. Now my damage window is almost back up. I just need him to throw this for an opening. Just tapping him. I don't really want to go for an intercept, he has power, and I'm already just a touch low. If he combos into L2, that would just be tragic. Here, if he I miss a dash back and he medium mediums me. If he gets to L2 and throws that, I'm low. Um, and this is also Cody's defender, which I was very acutely aware of the second I got hit. Um, which, yeah, it would be no bueno if that happened. Did I just throw a special 2 here? I could. I don't think I do, though. Um, but yeah, so just baiting this out. Just trying to get as many openings as I can. Now he's going to go unblockable, which is fine. Light intercept. Okay. Alright, he's uh, almost up against the corner, which means that this fight's getting a lot easier. There, I just pound his block. I could hit an intercept, but like, once again, I'm playing very scared. So I just push him that way for an opening. Now I can just do a light uh, dash back light intercept for an opening. And then same thing, I can bait this out and then do some backdrafts. So I bait that out, do a backdraft, which he goes for, and that's the fight. So yeah, I got my bad fight out of the way for this war. Um, just kidding, there's worse. So, here I heal up Hercules. Um, I could have gone in with this with that much health, but I wanted to be safe, because Hercules, I mean, uh, Terax does hit hard. 
So I go in with Hercules versus Terax. I do have a PS1 on um, for the crit, and I can knock him down fully for, for free, so to speak, for Conduit. Because he's shock immune. So yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to bait this out. I could hit into that phase, which is what makes him so easy to kill in... I get parried there. <laughs> what makes him so easy to kill in Battlegrounds, I could just use that phase because he's hyper-aggressive. So I am unsure of whether or not I'm going to do that. Because he is nuking, but... After this, I believe I do go for that. Do I heavy here? No, that doesn't make any sense. That's freaking stupid. Uh, I don't heavy here, thank the lord. So yeah, and look, he's melting. He's just dashing at me, he's melting. Um, and yeah, that fight is, this fight's easy as hell. Unless this happens. Right here. So let's slow that down for you. The 12k, a 7k, I guess there's a 7.6k, 7.7k. It's 42k non-crit combo. I'm in Assassin's range. If one of those crits, there's a very solid chance I die. Um, and now I'm just scared as hell because I'm in Assassin's range. But yeah, that's the fight. That's the war. Absolutely horrendous showing by me, but um, yeah, I did get all solos. Thank you for watching.